Welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a pre-fight show for UFC on Fox. Maya vs. Condit, a welterweight clash of the ages. A five-round main event on Big Fox. Yeah, so there's a pre-fight show, the main card, and let's get started. So the main event is going to be exciting. It's two top ten ranked welterweights in the UFC. Damian Maya, 4-3 black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Carlos Condit, former UFC interim welterweight champion of the world, and a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I may add, which that is going to be the key of why I'm picking Carlos Condit to win this fight. Uh, Carlos Condit, having that brown belt will be good enough submission defense if he gets into... Uh, grappling with um, Damian Maya to get out of the grappling game, I think. I think uh, he's going to be smart about this and he's going to avoid any uh, clinches and any um, going up against the cage against Damian Maya and he's just going to keep his distance and keep this a stand-up fight. And I think Damian Maya is going to get days confused uh, fairly um, late in the first round and then Let's see, I am picking, uh, yep, here we go, put my fantasy up there for all you guys to see. So, I'm picking Carlos Condit by round two, uh, KO knockout. I think Carlos Condit uh, starts landing some good strikes, I think he's going to land some good leg kicks which is going to weaken Damian Maia's ground game quite a bit. And then I think he's going to um, land some good combinations. I think he's going to mix things up with the leg kicks and combinations pretty darn well. And it'll be good enough to um, daze and confuse Damian Maia, and then mid to late in the second round, uh, Damian Maia will be done. And then um, I think any time Damian Maia drops to the ground, he will walk away and let Damian Maia get up and uh, Damian Mize can get more and more tired. And Carlos kind of will win this yeah, second round knockout. Then uh, in the co-main event, we have uh, Anthony Pettis making his featherweight debut against uh, the always fun to watch Charles Oliveira, who's uh, just a grappling wizard. And I think um, Anthony Pettis has very underrated grappling. And I think Anthony Pettis... Um, also, in this match, will avoid um, the ground game of Charles Oliveira, and Anthony Pettis loves to do flashy strikes. And I got this fight being kind of like shades of Cub Swanson versus Charles Oliveira, where there's like that big moment where you know Charles Oliveira just can't take it anymore, and he just he goes out. And I think um, there's not going to be necessarily a one-punch knockout. I think it's going to be um, gradual, where Charles Oliveira is getting worn out and worn out, and then eventually the ref has to call it off. And I, so I got TKO um, round one, late in the first round, um, for Anthony Showtime Pettis. And I think this will be a good confidence boost for Anthony Pettis because he's on, a, I believe, a three-fight losing skid right now. Uh, but that was at lightweight, and I think featherweight may, may be a good spot for him. Then, in the women's strawweight division, we have Paige Van Zandt versus Beck Rawlings. Beck Rawlings, uh, experienced veteran, she's fought Invicta, same thing as Paige. They both uh, have fought in Invicta and put on great performances. And, uh, yeah, this fight I got to go with Paige Van Zandt by decision. The reason why I go with Paige Van Zandt by decision is because Paige Van Zandt, um, I think, will outland Beck Rawlings each round. I think she can out-grapple Beck Rawlings, and I could picture her getting dominant positions and uh, pic picture her getting some ground and pound, and then Beck Rawlings may be able to get out of some of those spots. And then when it goes back to standing, Paige Van Zandt will um, work her boxing and um, rattle Beck Rawlings more. But I think Beck Rawlings will land some good shots here and there. So. It'll be somewhat of a battle, especially the first couple rounds. But I think by the end of the third round, we'll know that Paige Van Sant definitely uh, 
got the nod here, and I picked Paige Van Zandt winning the unanimous decision. Um, then to kick off the main card, in the lightweight division, we have Joe Lozon versus Jim Miller. Two highly experienced veterans in the UFC. Both these guys have been fighting the UFC for ages, and they both had... Um, they both had some big um, wins and some big losses, uh, and yeah, Jim Miller to the likes of Cowboy Cerrone and Joe Lozon, I believe, to Anthony Pettis years ago at lightweight. I think um, this fight, though, uh, I think Joe Lozon's striking, uh, the way he displayed it against uh, Diego Sanchez at UFC 200, I think um, his striking's definitely gotten better. Uh, Joe Lozon's always had good grappling. Jim Miller has always had pretty good wrestling. Um, so I see this as the grappling and the ground game get thrown out the window possibly here. And then I think Joe Lozon gets uh, late in the first round knockout um, with his heavy hands. And yeah, Joe Lozon is just, he's, he's just the total package, he's more of the total package now than ever before. Uh, Jim Miller, you know, he's had some struggles as of late, and um, I think Jim Miller, maybe two, three years ago, would have been able to win this fight, but I think the way things are right now, Joe Lozon gets it done, first round knockout. And uh, honorable mention on the prelims, Sam Alvey, Kevin Casey, uh, big fan of both these guys, that's going to be a fun, exciting fight at middleweight. And yeah, that wraps up the post-fight, uh, pre-fight show uh, for UFC on Fox, Maya vs. Condit. Stay tuned in the coming days for my post-fight show of this card. And until then, see ya.